Welcome back. Our next guest speaks seven languages, but even more impressive, perhaps, is the fact that he can make himself disappear. <laughs> I'm talking about headlining illusionist David <laughs> Goldrake, who brings the magic alive inside Tropicana. In fact, he's bringing Imaginarium all the way from Luxembourg. Welcome to the show, David. Wow. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's great well, to have you. This is fantastic. Uh, you and I were talking about how you came up with the name Imaginarium. Correct. Imaginarium is a space. It's a place. It's, uh, we came up with the name because I was looking for something that reflected the show, the theme of the show. And that's about what's going on in our minds, in our hearts. Not only mine, but especially the audience's mind, mm -hmm. because that's what the show is about. It's audience focused. Mm -hmm. And it had to do with imagination. And I thought, what better place than an Imaginarium? And that's how we created the name a couple of years ago. I like that. We've been seeing the billboards and the posters all over town. Yeah. So, so what, what can they expect when they walk in? They're just essentially their your brain or their brain belongs to you <laughs> oh no 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 no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they can keep their brains no it's all about <laughs> it's all about sharing magical moments together the yeah. show is going to be as i said very audience focused it's about themes that that touch people that people relate to we have a piece where we ask the audience whether they want to see a husband or a wife disappear so we pick a couple from oh! the audience randomly De well, definitely man. Here. <laughs> Sorry, the lines are already over at Tropicana. You're you know what? It'll be interesting to see if, <laughs> if the audience picks one or the other more frequently. That's what we try to do, yeah. Wow. Nice. We only right? have done 18 shows so far, but you know, there's it's, pretty even. It's, it's kind of an evenness, yeah. Beautiful. But the show is about, as I said, it's about the audience. We have, we incorporate um, multimedia. We have projection mapping, which creates a oh. whole immersive experience for Love. them. Yes. We have grand illusion. We have escapology. I escape from a water tank in absolute visibility, so there's no cover. People can see every moment of me picking the locks. We have mm. more close-up magic, more intimate moments. And we have uh, sideshow performers that are part of the show oh. and uh, who perform their act after I change or during the moment I change you after, try my off water after being in the water. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm curious, I, I, I read a fair amount about you, David, and, and I see that you're, you're quite well known in Luxembourg. Am I? What? Yes, no, you are. He's yes, uh, according yes. to the, I, the internet. Anyway. We're a very small country. <laughs> yeah, but a fabulous country right there in the middle of Europe. Um, what, what, what is your perception of now playing at the Tropicana here in Las Vegas? I would say it's overwhelming. <laughs> this is like it's this is uh, the World Series. This is like the is Super it? Bowl of, of well, magic. That's what I'm thinking. To be having a show in Vegas it's must be so amazing. It's very surreal and it's overwhelming at the same time because as you just said it, Sean, you come here after everything you've done mm -hmm. and you are in Vegas, you see your face on the strip, you still think, you know, you want to do your best. You want to yeah. give 200 percent for the audience. Yeah. But yes, you're right. This is the Mecca of magic. I'm surrounded by the greatest names in our arts and crafts, and I have to live up to that. Wow. And it's a, it's a wonderful challenge, and it's very exciting. We have a real treat. This is a, uh, this is a weird little contraption you've brought with us uh, yes. today. What is this? Mm. Uh, well, that's um, kind of an invention. If sh Shall I show it Please. to you? Yeah, Please, yeah, that'd be great. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Okay, we're, we're just going to, oh, man. Yeah, oh, so. Oh, man. So this is something that, uh, it's a replica of one of Leonardo da Vinci's least known inventions. All right. And I acquired it a couple of years ago. And um, according to da Vinci, it would be possible to operate the human arm without a patient either shedding blood or experiencing any pain. Oh, no. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm inserting my arm right here. And we're also going to need two razor sharp scalpels. No. So scalpel number one is going to make an incision right no! Yes, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> now scalpel number two is going to make the next incision no. right there. Stop it. And as you can see, JJ and Sean, my hand is still no, very how? much alive. <laughs> how? Yes, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. And in fact, before I'm going to explain the principles behind this piece, I'm going to give the whole thing a little more transparency. What? Now, <laughs> oh, wow. According to Da Vinci, according to Da Vinci, the human arm is divided into three main muscles. We have the biceps right here. We have the brachioradialis. That's its <laughs> name right there. And we have the palmaris there. And the muscles are connected in such a way in the boxes that the doctor is able to operate here in the middle or there without the patient shedding any blood or experiencing any pain. Do you have any questions, JJ yes. or Sean? If you hear me, point your uh, pointer finger at me. I can okay. hear you. All right, just testing you. <laughs> just testing. And I can point the finger at you as well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
But now we have to restore the arm. Please. It's very simple. We put the middle back. It couldn't be we below. We remove scalpel number open. one. We remove scalpel number two. And the arm is completely oh my goodness, perfect. That's restored. That is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Leonardo. What? <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. Da Vinci. Wow, Bravo, that is a Get over here. For, oh uh, yeah, I, I am just like mystified by Thank what you. I just saw. Thank you. Wow. And here's the thing. Bravo. If you're wondering, oh, well, he probably just has like okay. a okay. cutout of our set behind him. No one would ever want to get a cutout of this ugly set behind him. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> How did you do that? I am so I confused. Saw it. I don't know. I saw it with my eyes. And we see the side view and I still don't get it. Yeah, it drives me nuts. Don't. I know. No, they have, they, they're part of this secret they are, thing they, we don't know about. They're doing witchcraft in Luxembourg. <laughs> I oh, know it. Oh, wow. Well, Ugh. all right. Witness wow. the great illusions like Sean and I just did. David Goldrake in Imaginarium. Catch it at the Tropicana Las Vegas. Yeah. It's that big, beautiful white casino on the side of Las Vegas Boulevard. Oh. Tuesday through Sundays at 7. Buy your tickets online or by calling the number listed. You can also connect with David on Facebook or Twitter.